we've all had crappy neighbors, and some of us have even considered getting revenge on them. Yet the crap this Clearwater Florida man drops on his neighbors will blow your mind. But before we get started, what do you think he does? I want to make you a little bet. I don't think you can guess what he does to his neighbor without googling him. So right now, comment below what you think he does without leaving this page. And at the end of the video, if you're right, reply, I'm right, to your comment. If you're wrong, you have to share this video on your social media. Beneath the floorboards is the greatest. Now you need to shake your rainbows. <laughs> Beneath the floorboards is the greatest. Now you need to shake your rainbows. <laughs> but make sure to watch to the end, as this story has two related sections. Around 8.30 p.m., December 10th, 2021. Clearwater, Florida. Kenneth Carlisle, 64, clearly a model citizen, is driving in a residential area while shooting a gun out of the window into Lake Citrus, a tiny lake on the corner of Lake Citrus Drive and Victoria Drive in Clearwater, Florida. Several people call the police and report this incident to them, noting he was driving an orange 2014 Dodge Challenger and shooting near, over, or potentially at houses in the area. Around 8.40 p.m., a deputy attempts to pull Kenneth over, but he fails to stop for the officer. Instead, our hero drives himself home and parks in his yard before getting out of his vehicle and trying to get into his home. The deputy follows him and detains him immediately. He finds Kenneth to be showing numerous signs of impairment like bloodshot and watery dilated eyes and swaying. In fact, Kenneth showed six signs of impairment on the field sobriety tests and thus he was arrested for a DUI with a breath alcohol content of 0.039, which would likely somewhere be around the legal limit for blood alcohol content in Florida, which is 0.08, because BRAC is generally about half of what BAC is. He was also charged with having a concealed weapon, which is a felony, discharging a weapon within a thousand feet of a domicile, and failing to stop. He had several firearms in the car, and there were numerous shell casings on his floorboards. Early in 2022, he is released and manages to stay out of trouble until just a couple weeks before his late March birthday, when something transpires between him and his next door neighbor. And on March 4th, 2022, around 4.41 p.m., Kenneth decides to get his revenge. The police report sums it up perfectly. Kenneth then and there willfully and maliciously injured or damaged the real or personal property of another, to wit, a small glass table, the property of the victim. The defendant walked fully naked onto the victim's property, up their driveway, and defecated while naked on a table on their porch, defacing their personal property. The defendant was captured doing so on two separate angles of the victim's home security footage. So, were you right? Did you guess he took a dump on their glass patio table? Again, I bet not. So remember to share this video. The police report continues. The defendant was spoken with through the door of his RV camper and was still visibly naked and highly uncooperative with law enforcement. He was also dead sober. One has to wonder what shitty thing the neighbor did to set him off. Or maybe Kenneth is just demonstrating that he's an asshole and the neighbor did nothing. Regardless of his reasoning, Kenneth finds himself arrested for disorderly conduct and is held in jail for this on $250 bail. But because of this arrest, his bond is revoked for his previous charges, and he ends up staying in jail for a while. Eventually, he pleads guilty to an amended charge of several misdemeanors, and the DA drops the felony charges. Kenneth is also forced to have no contact with the victim and stay a thousand feet away from him. And Kenneth lives happily ever after. That is until a little over a year later. On April 7th, 2023, Kenneth is arrested at his home a little after midnight. He violated his probation on the DUI case. It's unclear from the paperwork what specifically he did, but he did something related to the DUI and is arrested and released a few hours later at 3.18 a.m. on his own recognizance. I imagine he probably failed to contact his probation officer or to get a UA test done in a timely manner because that's a pretty common reason people violate probation. Though on the other hand, it could be because he was sick with a terminal illness at this time. A month and a week later, on May 14th, 2023, Kenneth died in hospice care. A week later, his probation was terminated. A few seconds later, I ask, so what do you think? Like the video, is there anything someone could do that could justify another person shitting on their stuff? Subscribe! Or did he just take shitting on his neighbors too seriously? 
Share this video. Have you ever done anything crazy to a neighbor for revenge? If so, what? Inquiring minds want to know. And since you're binging videos anyway, binge some more of mine. YouTube thinks you'll like this one, and I happen to agree. So click here to join me for another episode spelunking beneath the floorboards right now on your favorite true crime YouTube channel, Beneath the Floorboards.